Oh no! Did you hear this news, little kitty? Few COVID-19 patients in India are getting infected by black fungus. Now, what's that? Well, that is what our viewers want to know too. Hey friends, so in today's episode, let us look into this new epidemic infecting humans and find the answer to a super critical question. What is black fungus infection? Zoom in! The world is already battling a hard battle with coronavirus. And amid this hazardous pandemic, several hospitals in India have started reporting a rare but severe fungal infection known as mucomycosis or black fungus. This infection is caused by exposure to a group of fungi called mucomycetes that belongs to the scientific order Mucoralis. And the most common type responsible for this infection are Rhizopus species and Muca species. Funguses aren't rare and can be found everywhere, particularly in soil, plants, dung and decaying fruits and vegetables. And as their microscopic fungal spores are floating around the air, it is impossible to completely avoid coming in contact with them while breathing or through a cut, burn or other types of skin injuries. Though these molds aren't harmful to most people, however, for someone who has a weak immune system due to an existing health condition like diabetes, Inhaling micromycete spores can cause an infection in the lungs or sinuses which can spread to other parts of the body including the brain. But when that happens, a person might start to show early symptoms like fever, sinus pain or nasal blockage on one side of the face, one-sided headache, swelling or numbness, toothache and loosening of teeth. Or in the case of skin mucomycosis, it can look like blisters or ulcers and the infected area may turn black. But as this infection typically occurs in people who are already sick from other medical conditions, so it can be challenging to identify which symptoms are linked to mucomycosis. So, in case you find any of the said symptoms, it's essential to visit your doctor ASAP. There, the doctors will consider your medical history, symptoms, physical examinations and laboratory tests to diagnose mucomycosis. And in case they suspect that someone has mucomycosis in their lungs or sinuses, they might collect a sample of fluid from their respiratory system to send for lab testing and depending on the results, the doctor might prescribe antifungal medicine or they might perform surgery to cut away the infected tissue. But the vital question still remains. What is triggering the rise of this COVID-associated mucomycosis in few patients? Well, some doctors believe that it may be due to the use of steroids. Yes, with coronavirus and other conditions, a critical event called a cytokine storm can occur. It is an uncontrollable inflammatory response by the immune system that could damage organs. So doctors have been prescribing steroids to reduce the immune response. But while doing so, it might weaken the body's defenses and increase sugar levels, creating a perfect habitat for these funguses to survive and thrive. Trivia time! Did you know black fungus is not contagious and can't be spread from human to human or to animals? Also, to keep yourself safe from this fungus, it is advisable to ensure personal hygiene by bathing and scrubbing the body thoroughly, brushing your teeth twice a day, and wearing concealed shoes, long pants, long-sleeved shirts, gloves, along with face masks while going out. 
Hope you learned something important today. So do share this video with your loved ones and do not forget to stay calm and stay safe. Until next time, it's me Dr. Binox zooming out. Ah. Never mind. <laughs>